Hello and welcome. This is Joydeep once again bringing to you another story of my travel experience. This time it is Japan. Yes, and it is Hiroshima. People who are born before World War II and lived to tell this story to their children, the generation those who are born in 1970s and 80s some of you must have heard about this fact of world war 2 i remember to have heard these stories from my mother hiroshima is a place of historical importance and is situated in the central part of japan and is the capital of hiroshima prefecture the city presently holds a population of 2.1 million in order to reach there the best way i love to travel is taking a shinkansen the bullet train from tokyo station to reach hiroshima the 800 plus kilometer is done in 3 and a half hours as you step just outside Hiroshima station you may get into a tram that would drop you at the station near the atomic bomb dome the hypocenter of the bombing on that ill-fated night when the clock showed quarter past 8 the US army air forces US AAF dropped its first ever nuclear bomb named little boy on what was known as the hiroshima prefectural industrial promotion hall at the moment of detonation the blast exerted 35 tons of pressure per square meter and created a fierce wind speed of 440 meters per second the building absorbed the powerful explosion and heat and burst into flames because the impact of the blast came almost directly overhead curiously the thick outer walls and the steel dome escaped complete destruction however the people who were inside at the time died instantly and the interior of the building was completely gutted by fire the city then had a population of 345000 and almost 70% of the city were destroyed over next 2 to 4 months the acute effects of the atomic bombings killed between 90000 and 146000 people in hiroshima the hiroshima peace memorial genbaku dome was the only structure left standing in the area where the first atomic bomb exploded on 6th of august 1945 this year commemorates 75th year of hiroshima bombing through the efforts of many people including those of the city of hiroshima it has been preserved in the same state as immediately after the bombing not only is it a stark and powerful symbol of the most destructive force ever created by human kind it also expresses the hope for world peace and ultimate elimination of all nuclear weapons The atomic bomb dome was registered as a UNESCO United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization World Heritage Site in 1996. The 42.7 hectare buffer zone that surrounds the property includes the Peace Memorial Park. Officially named the memorial monument for hiroshima 
city of peace it is more commonly known as the memorial cenotaph the names of all those who lost their lives are inscribed inside the central stone vault regardless of nationality it currently holds more than 290000 names of those who lost their lives to the bomb and new names are discovered and added to the list every year the peace memorial museum depicts many items that includes charred remains of a motorcycle deformed glass bottle and blood soaked dress of an adult woman my eyes get moist as i speak about this devastation and hope we never have war in any part of the world and people behave in a more sensible way towards life i would urge people to visit this place and appeal more to the people who propagate terrorism the war within to visit this place i'm sure it would change their mind